Hello guys, welcome to the third video tutorial on image processing using MATLAB. Guys, in the previous lesson, I talked about how to read and display and write a single image using MATLAB. While in today's lecture, I'm going to talk about how to read and display and write multiple images using MATLAB. To read and display and write multiple images using MATLAB, first you need to have multiple images of the same time with a single directory. So for that purpose, I have three images in this directory, which are 1.jpg, 2.jpg, and 3.jpg. Before reading and displaying and writing all these three images, you first need to access all these images of the same directory. So for accessing these three images, Within a single directory, you need to include the dir matlab built-in function. So the code for the dir matlab built-in function is now inside the dir matlab built-in function, you need to provide two parameter the first one is the address to the directory from which you want to read the images. You want to access the images. So I want to access the images from this directory, so I'm copying the address of this directory and putting it over here. As I want to read all these three images, so for that purpose I put a star and the type of the image, which is JPG. And this information need to be inserted within a single code. Now with this single line of code, you can easily access all these three images now in order to read and ex uh, in order to read display and write all these three images so for that purpose I, I put a for loop which will take start from one and go until the length of these three images Now you need to concatenate this, the address of this directory with the type of the image. So for that purpose I am using the strcat MATLAB built-in function. Copy the same address and put it up over here. With this piece of line of code, you can easily concatenate the address of a particular directory with the name, with the particular name of the image in that directory. Now you need to read all these images under this directory. So for that, I'm using I'm read function. Now you need to display all these images. In order to display all these images within a separate figure, so for that you have to write the figure keyword as well. Now if you want to save these images within a separate folder, then you can do this by using the I'm write function. So for that, first I'm creating a folder in this directory and giving it name like uh, save okay now right I'm right and uh, name of the image and where you want to store it so I want to store it uh, Here. Oh. 
now run this program sorry figure I'm sure okay uh, I'm sure now you can see all the images are displayed in a separate figures figure 3 figure 2 figure 1 and you can see under the save folder all these three images are saved with different indexed names so guys i think it's enough for today's lecture and if you have any question or query regarding today's lecture you can ask by putting in a, in a comment section. Thanks so much.